two. Uh, so today we're going to continue our discussion on positive comparatives and superlatives. So I'm going to talk about uh, comparative because we've already talked about positive. You know what positive is. So we're going to talk about comparatives. Uh, like I said before, and I actually just used the same slide, uh, comparatives are always third declension adjectives. Uh, longior longius, right? Brevior brevius. Uh, apparently my Alexa thinks that I was talking to her. Uh, so longus a um, or brevisis a, it still works the same. You knock off the ending, so you've got your stem, long or brev, and then you add on ior, ius. So ior works for masculine and feminine, and ius is for neuter. So longior longius, brevior brevius. That's how it works, okay? I don't even need to put steps because there's not more than two. Knock off the ending and add on the new ending, all right? Uh, so, copy that down. And we're moving on. Now, sometimes in doing that, you're gonna run into some weird stem changes, all right? You do run into those. So, uh, you got a word like aker, akris, akre. It's a three termination adjective of the third declension, it means sharp or bitter. So you go to the second part, acris, and it's acri or acrius. It just is, sorry. Now we talk about pulcare, pulcra, pulcrum, and it seems to hold the pattern. You go to the second part, the feminine, and it's pulcrior, pulcrius. Then we go here, prudens, prudentis. So if you have a single termination or a participle, if you want to make it more loving, you're going to go to the genitive singular. So you get the stem and it's prudentior, prudentius. All right, you've had time to copy that down. So then let's talk about the grammar of it all. Okay, uh, There are two ways to use the comparative in a Latin sentence. The first way is this one. Uh, you use the ablative of comparison. So Marcus es brevior dawo. Marcus is shorter than daus. That's the ablative of comparison. Now you have another ablative. Congratulations. So if you see an ablative and you see comparison, you're like, oh, we're comparing two things. So Marcus is shorter than the person who is daus. Okay? Ablative of comparison. Now if you don't want to do it that way, for some reason you want to use a lot of ink, you can use the quam comparative. Marcus is brevior quam daus. Marcus, Marcus is shorter than daus. There are two ways to say this. Okay, so quam plus the nom, uh, quam nom, uh, or ablative of comparison. But this is when you're using comparatives. So Marcus is brevior quam daus. Marcus is brevior dao. They both mean the same thing. Okay, so let's take a look at some sentences so that we have examples. All right, so. The kiwes Romani diviores quam kiwes Albani sunt. The Roman citizens are richer than the Alban citizens. Lupi ferociores uh, leonibus sunt. Sorry, my finger rubbed out the teeth. Uh, so the wolves are more ferocious than the lions. So see, up here I use the quam plus the nominative, and down here I use the ablative of comparison. Both work. And then uh, the last one, Sextus puellam pulcriorem amavit. Sextus loved the prettier girl. Now, the reason I'm doing this one is so that you can see that this is still an adjective. So it's still going to match number, case, and gender to whatever it's describing. Okay, so feminine, singular, accusative. All right, so that's how it works. So that is comparatives. Um, let's see, do I want you to do anything yet? No, I don't. So after superlatives, then I'll start assigning some homework, okay? All right, I'm gonna hit the button.